Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 6.9 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. Episode 6.9 is entitled False Light. In the case of human beings who shine with a great light, it sometimes happens that this is because they are obsessed or possessed by a negative astral being who siphons light off of a gathering of people and passes it on to the obsessed or possessed person so as to enlist the gathering of people to the dark. This false light is mentioned in the work of Patanjali as well and I expect may have been used by fakirs in days of yore to impress the people of ancient India so as to acquire wealth and fame. In the first image below and in my blog I have termed this in quotes the seeming light. This is a name that I've given to the false light of a negative astral being. I have several blogs to recommend to you with regard to the topic of the seeming light. The first is found in Ascension Glossary uh, https colon slash slash ascensionglossary.com and the title of the blog is False Ascension Matrix. You may also find this blog by going to the Ascension Glossary website, which is quite good, and searching for the term false white light. The other blog I have to recommend is from my own site, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com by me, Alice Claggett. You can look for the blog entitled Cloak, that's C-L-O-A-K, of Seeming, that's S-E-E-M-I-N-G, Light. Now here are two images for you on the same theme. The first is called Cloak of Seeming Light 6 by me, Alice B. Claggett, 15 March 2020. It's Creative Commons, and so I can show it to you. It shows a brave young man standing here with a sword or scimitar, and a cloak being dropped upon him by two strange-looking bird-like entities. The description is, the two lords of karma release the cloak of seeming light above the head of a young spiritual adept. The spiritual adept in violet shirt and royal blue pants, a saber at his side, stands at bottom center. The lords of karma resemble large, mean-eyed birds. I have one more image for you entitled Balaam, that's B-A-L-A-A-M, and the angel in parens numbers 22 to 24 by Gustav Jager, 1836, from Wikimedia Commons and its public domain. So, here we have Balaam, a figure from the Bible, and his ass, and the angel. Here's my comment on this painting. Just as Balaam, seen on the right in the painting, was an adversary to God's angelic messenger, seen on the left in the painting, the very messenger that Balaam's simple ass or donkey saw 
was barring Balaam's erring path, so is Satan the adversary of our own angelic guardians. As Balaam aligned with King Balak in tempting the Israelites to sexual immorality and to sacrificing to idols, as can be read in Revelation 2, verse 14, so do the inner circles of some modern-day societies secretly entice the innocent Christian to err. Some such societies worship Lucifer as, in quotes, bringer of light, end quote, to humankind. But that light which Lucifer brings is false. The safe path for a Christian lies in alignment with the mind and heart and will of God. I pray we, as Christians, may clearly discern the true light of Christ consciousness from the seeming light of the demon realm. This is a sidebar entitled, The Danger Presented to Light Workers by fakirs or fakirs, practical Kabbalists, and fortune tellers. I have an image for you entitled Two Fakirs by Vasily Vereshchagin, painted from 1874 to 1876 from Wikimedia Commons and it's public domain. It looks like this. The description of these types of people is in the text, so I'll begin with that. The word fakir means a wandering Muslim or Hindu ascetic who accepts alms for the exercise of his psychic powers, or else to appease him so that he will not place a curse on the passerby, as the psychic powers of fakirs are much feared and greatly respected in India, even in this modern age. The fakir is comparable to some extent to those who employed practical Kabbalah in days of yore and onward to modern times. You can find out more about Practical Kabbalah in the English Wikipedia post Practical Kabbalah at https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org. So to continue the fakir is comparable to some extent to those who employed practical Kabbalah in days of yore and onward to modern times. And to the psychic or fortune teller or palm reader in the United States today, although there are gender differences amongst the practitioners of these arts, which range from what is termed white magic to what is called black magic. Over the years, I have become keenly aware of how black magic practitioners create incursions on the work and lives of light workers. For that reason, I compiled my blog category, Transcending the Dark, Courage Under Fire. You can peruse it by surfing to my blog, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com and then searching for the blog category by that name. This category contains the white magic and traditional faith techniques 
I channeled through my Ascension team in the last 20 years so as to counter the black magic spells thrust upon me by others. My hope is that what I have channeled will help my fellow light workers to remain full of light and love and joy despite the turbulent currents of light and dark that characteristically swirl about and careen through the magnetosphere of third and fourth dimensional Earth. That's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.